Uh, at the very outset, I want to thank Dr. Radha and Dr. Raja Reddy to invite me to speak on Guru Keru Charan Mahapatra for the Parivar 24th festival when our Vice President of India, Venkatram Nairu sir, is going to be the chief guest. It's always a great pleasure to speak about Paddo Evushan, Guru Keru Charan Mahapatra, who shaped the dance of Odyssey wonderfully and brought it on the not national but international map. As we all know now from the biography written by Ilyana Titaristi and number of interviews Guruji has given about his life that he was born in Raghurajpur and in a family of painters, Patichitrakar, who used to do paintings. Guruji was also trained as a Goti Pua dancer. Goti means one and Pua means boy. The boy dancers in Raghurajpur who were trained as dancers but dressing as young girls and they would perform various songs before Lord Jagannath during the period of uh, Chandan Jatra. During Chandan Jatra in month of May, the idols of Lord Jagannath, Subhadra and uh, Balaram will be taken in a boat, in a boat ride across Chandan Pokhri. And uh, the musicians will also be on the boat and Gotipua dancers will perform. I was doing my research work on ODC when I saw, thanks to Guru Pankacharandas, the dance performed by a young boat people are a dancer on the boat and we took circle and Dheeraj Chawda, the well-known photographer from the Times of India who came to meet us and photograph this uh, event, uh, took photographs which were later on published in the Illustrated Weekly of India on the cover of the Gotipa dancer. Now, it was great to see all these aspects of Odyssey, but it was great to meet the great Guru Keruchan Mahapatra and that happened not in 1958. In 1958, in All India Dance Seminar, I met for the first time Babulal Dushi who had established Kalavika Skindra in Katak to train young dancers including Kumkum Das and number of Sanjukta Panikri and many other dancers to learn Odyssey. He had brought, uh, he had come to All India Dance Seminar in 1958 at All India Dance, uh, All India Dance Seminar at uh, New Delhi, convened by the Sankit Natak Academy uh, in 1958 from 31st March to April 7. And uh, in that seminar, Deva Prasad Das had come and he demonstrated various aspects of Bhangi, Tribhangi, Tribhanga, Bhanga and uh, Atibhanga etc. as mentioned in the Natya Shastra and also mentioned in the Shilpa Shastra to the lecture given by Kavi Chandra Karichan Patnayak at that time also ODC dancer Sanjukta Panigrahi who was learning Bharatnatyam at Kalakshetra had come to perform in Kutral Kurvanji Kurga by Rukmini Devi Arundel but that is a separate story. Many think and uh, claim that uh, Keluchar Mahapatra had come to play Pakhavaj but I don't think so otherwise Babulal Doshi would have introduced me. It happened so only in 1964 that uh, Keluchan Mahapatra came to Bombay along with Babulal Doshi who had planned to raise fund for Kalavika Kendra and have performances in uh, Birla, Kala, Birla Theatre, uh, underground theatre near uh, Bombay Hospital. And Guruji had brought a uh, young Kumkum dancer along with uh, the ODC dancers had come the Mayuruban Chow dancers who performed Chow dances without mask and they had brought a big huge drum, Dumsa. I remember that at the Birla Kira Kendra and not Birla Kira Kendra but Birla Matushi Sabhaga. And uh, it was interesting to watch all this uh, for the first time in the sense that particularly the Margam type of Odyssey dance like you know Mangala Charan, then Batu, then uh, Pallavi, then Sabin and Rutya 
and uh, moksha etc were for the first time seen by me only in 1964 though i had seen some type of odissi dance in 1958 during all india uh, oriental seminar in uh, bhuvaneswar when uh, uh, mehtab sir was the uh, chief minister of uh, orissa and uh, dr v raghavan had also come there and there was a paper presented by uh, dhirendranath patnaik who had studied odissi and he was a historian and wrote a beautiful book first ever book in odissi dance and he had performed the shautar at that time i believe uh, you look elujan mahapatra for played the bhajan but i still don't have very clear memory the clear, clear memory is only of going guruji only in uh, bombay at birla mathuri sabhaga and what a wonderful gentleman he was wonderful very loving when i uh, did pranam to him and touched his feet he held my hand and blessed me on my head and kissed me on his other side and then uh, i saw him doing wonderful makeup of chitra you know chitravali on the face of kumkum hanti and putting on or tia and etc and she was dressed beautifully as a beautiful dancer and i remember still what she had performed with the basant pallavi uh, to set the music of uh, i think it was uh, mar krishna das's music and basant pallavi still i have a recording because at that time we had those pools of recording and i have kept it and i was asked to give commentary in gujarati also for the number of dance performances that paper I don't remember whether we saw uh, to lagi gopo dando banare kaliya suna perform by kumkum but I think she had performed next day when we had organized a uh, small lecture demonstration at Bharati Vidya Bhavan and Lilavati Munshi and Dr K Munshi uh, the director of Bharati Vidya Bhavan who established Bharati Vidya Bhavan was so present and I think from Chennai uh, Vaidhi Dorai Swami also had come the great connoisseur of art and he liked kumkum dance very much and he said she was like almost like a beautiful young devadasi performed in mother jagannath temple my introduction to odissi there and also to kirtan mahapatra happened only in mumbai at that time and i remember very clearly how guruji used to perform but the real performance of guruji i saw was in mumbai 1971 when we we started having kalki kalakar festival under sur singar sansad by vijinarayan ji and naina jawari nai was the director of the festival we curating i had seen in chennai uh, our uh, great scholar v raghavan giving similar the lecture them in 1970 or when i came back from london when balar sir used to perform and uh, uh, dr v raghavan used to give the commentary so we got an idea that we can do about this for the various uh, dance forms so we invited vampati chinna satyam garu shobhan adu lakshmi vishnathan we invited biju mara sashwati sen we had krishna panikar with his daughters rama and uh, uh, the two girls prasanna and uh, we had a demonstration of mohini attem by kanakarele then we had uh, uh, parat natyam by guru kalyan sundaram uh, achu lachu maharaj also came and uh, we had a great time explaining the form and demonstration so the demonstration would take place and i would stand in a corner and without paper in my hand have here with the guruji i'll talk about the various dance form Now, when Kirujan Mahapatra came, uh, Kiruji had excellent uh, figure, but he was very shy and he wouldn't take out his banyan. So we said, Guruji, you take out the banyan because if you don't take out the banyan, then people cannot see your wonderful, uh, you know, abhanga. What you do, all chauka and uh, tribanga and ati banga, etc. We have to show them. So Guruji finally agreed. And when he danced, oh my God, people were completely under his spell. He had wonderful. execution not that he was very good looking man he was dark his teeth were little broken he had lost his hair also at that time and uh, but the moment he came on the stage and danced we were under spell and that particular song which i love the most to lagi go padanda manare kaliya suna o krishna because of you we are not able to cross even the street and go and sell the butter this is too much you are giving us lot of harassment you give lot of trouble to us but krishna don't think you are the scion of the great nanda raja i am not an ordinary radha and gopi says i also come from barsana i am also daughter of the nanda, my great father so uh, that that wonderful song was going on and guruji was also showing that uh, he was taking the gopis uh, uh, ferrying them in a river in a boat 
and uh, when he uh, moved like uh, ferrying the boat it looked like that as if the cj hall stage had become a uh, river and the boat was passing like so wonderfully he was sitting and drawing with the hand like that when we ended uh, and when guruji uh, uh, completed the performance we all were uh, so happy and thrilled to see this great artist and there was our great dr mulkaraj anand the editor of marg magazine uh, and who had brought out number of issues like bharatanatyam kathak manipuri and uh, kathakali and guru uh, my own guru mentor professor mohan kokkar had edited them along with dr mulkaraj anand and he was going to edit later on the odissi and later on i also wrote a book on odissi dance but meeting that guruji uh, in bombay and later on whenever i went to katak and stayed with uh, babulal doshi i used to go to kalavikas kendra every day and meet uh, guruji there and uh, watch how guruji was training guruji did join kalavikas kendra for uh, more than 15 uh, years and he taught there and trained uh, a number of dancers including kumkum mohanti she was das uh, sanjukta panigrahi then uh, minati mishra other dancers who also took training were also the one pramoda mohanti as a matter of fact the credit goes to pramoda mohanti for having uh, performed in public odissi for the first time during the inter college at uh, festival which took place in competition and she presented it which indrani rehman had seen and she was very interested in knowing the what is this new odissi dance form so she was asked by the well known hungarian art critic uh, charles fabri to go and uh, meet uh, dr mayadar man singh who was a great poet and also vice chancellor of the university who would guide her to meet uh, the devdasis and who could uh, show her what odissi dance was like that it was not uh, in a very great uh, perfect form but they knew so the four devdasis were uh, photographed by goindi vyarthi and uh, indrani met them and learned uh, when they say you learn from odissi you learn from deva prasad das so she studied from deva prasad das that's another story kiruchan mahapatra came on the scene uh, and there are interesting stories guru used to say when he was very young he was fond of going to brindavan to see krishna so along with one of his young gopipura dancer friends he said let's go to the station and buy ticket to go to brindavan the station master had seen this innocent two boys and knew kiruchan mahapatra's father also and he said you wait i'll give you the ticket etc and inform uh, kiruchan mahapatra's father that your son wants to go to brindavan <laughs> they are so innocent so guruji said this story to us many times and then he was taken back to the home and give a little punishment also but that is what the love guruji had of uh, with the lord krishna and later on when he began to choreograph uh, the wonderful dance items you know and in particular i have always remembered and whenever i have been asked to speak on kiruchala mahapatra i have remembered my uh, watching him choreograph uh, the ashtapadi in which krishna is waiting for radha and he looks at all directions and she has not come he prepared the bed of uh, beautiful flowers and then uh, suddenly a bird comes and sits on the branch of the tree and the leaf falls on the floor the way the leaf falls on the floor by the uh, very in the air and on the floor krishna wakes up oh maybe radha has come now where was the bird where was the branch of the tree the way the leaf was falling and uh, krishna is waking up this imagination was something most wonderful that guruji had done uh, we were once i must say about our visit to avinyo where our dear raja and radha had performed for the first to perform in avinyo festival in france thanks to the suggestion of uh, shrimati indira gandhi our prime minister who was very fond of raja and radha really so when we had gone to the uh, avinyo festival for the Ashtri of India in Avinyo, uh, Guruji was to perform the same Ashtapadi, and uh, we were performing on a stage which was a uh, you know monument, and there were pillars, and then Guruji made use of all this moving here and there and looking for Radha, and they came near one one of the pillars, and from there he began to see the entire audience understood that uh, this was Brindavan, 
and this was the brunch the you know uh, kunj of uh, krishna so powerful was his presentation now let me come back to also guru this same performance in mumbai at the ncp where they had presented wonderful flower absolutely made a cult of the flower so guru ji came and removed the, all the flowers and began to look for radha the way he would look for radha where is she coming from etc would make us feel that really radha is coming and this was the power of his abhinay i have never tired of saying the wonderful abhinay guru ji did when he was composing guru ka kuriyo do nandana chandana shishra tarena karena so that was being composed in mahadhar uh, mansing's house where sonal mansing was at that time studying and she was to marry ladit mansing so when i was in katak i went uh, along with one sarath pujari one of the great artist of orissa who became a film star and later on vice president of orissa sangeet natak academy and he came with me and guruji was choreographing uh, wonderfully because radha and krishna had physical union previous night and from the hair beautiful flowers are for laliti laliti galiti kusmani so radha says ke put those flowers again and do my hair beautifully so guruji was explaining this beautifully and then the kajal while making love krishna had ki sada so it was on the lips of radha so she says ke please draw the beautiful lines again and do my hair beautifully and then uh, the my eyes with the kajal would be like arrow which is shot by kamadev sitting on the pair now this one after another images came out so beautifully and the one which came out was about the krishna is doing his, her hair and then uh, radha sits in front with one hand and then looks in the fingers she has put on the ring on the ring there is a mirror so when krishna is doing her hair in the mirror reflection comes so krishna's is looked at radha and radha looks at krishna they once again embrace each other now i always wondered they sitting there on the ring now this was a sculpture in uh, one of the uh, sculptures at the konara in the nat mandap so guru ji take inspiration from there he took wonderful inspiration and wonderful poses of sitting he was showing in uh, his dance so he choreographed there radha is sitting there she has a ring in the ring there is a uh, mirror and the mirror reflection comes i marvel where was the finger where was the ring where was the mirror and as poet eliot has said who gave these eyes to women who look in the mirror and they become very proud etc now this comparison of mirror eyes and then through the mirror have a darshan of krishna again whom radha imbibes was beautifully done by guru ji when i saw i was completely speechless and whenever radha was being performed by guru ji and when he the dancer rejoins uh, sanjukta the uh, sonal man singh perform mati mukher professor this rashtrapati has remained ever green in my memory these are not ordinary uh, imagination of the guru ji guru ji did not know much of sanskrit but later on with the help of the sanskrit pandit guru ji learned also sanskrit very beautifully and then we come across the beautiful pankati that uh, uh, when they embrace each other the embrace was so intense that like lion who attacks the elephant for mukti kam here no that force of embracing was between radha and went to show the krida uh, guru ji just did one rati mudra by bringing two hands together like this near his uh, your part and suggested the rati galite lalite kusvari etc suggested also the physical union now this imagination of guru ji has been unparalleled for me in odissi i think this was the acme of the height of the abhinaya that guru ji did there was uh, absolutely uh, he was a great great uh, choreographer he would bring the element of uh, patachitra also he will create the beautiful vrindavan and beautiful trees etc the second ashtapati of the uh, shrita kamala kuchakundala in there guru ji also compose one of the lines comes that uh, uh, in case of uh, ram he comes and shoots an arrow at the uh, ravana and there is suggestion that ravana had the amrutkuppi and if the amrutkuppi is broken then ravana could be killed 
so the all the abhina in sanchari bhag guru used to bring them etc and when the, the he flies over on his vehicle garuda the beautiful be guru ji would raise his arms and perform absolutely feel like guru ji by the krishna is flying on the garuda bird etc this power of imagination abhina is marvelous one more incident i must quote is about a jugal bandi between our great katha exponent virju maharaj and uh, guru ji it was in uh, calcutta at the victoria memorial the number of gurus number of audience had come gurus were there at a full house and the song was mai bihari ko bas kar lo ye so role was played by uh, birju maharaj krishna and of radha by birju uh, by our kelutar uh, mahapatra and bihari ko bas kar lungi so krishna is sitting this way that way that she comes and presses guru ji's feet at sita she sits down uh, uh, near birju maharaj's feet and he is very embarrassed but he see becomes krishna so he does not uh, guru ji doesn't allow him to move away he presses her legs beautifully and then he takes uh, a, you know fan and does uh, you know pavan uh, this uh, seva and the way he perform and uh, the way basakar lungi when they embrace to each other two great dances one abhinay samrat in kathak birju maharaj and one kirutan matra and they embrace the entire audience stood up like one single man and clapped and clapped and clapped now if you are lucky and i am lucky that i had the chance to see guruji's performances in this way in the very big institution whether it was with pina bausch in avenue whether it was somewhere in chennai when we used to have krishna gana sabha uh, in the morning of an atikala conference guruji would give demonstration i would be giving commentary and guruji would do and guruji did the same thing to lagi gopadand manare kaliya suna and entire audience was taken away back we had taken once also kotikwa dancers who were there when uh, they perform the dance and uh, dr karan singh had liked it very much and lakshmi sanath had declared prize for the children now the range of guru ji's uh, training the way he composed pallavis one after another pallavis and then battu nritya as well as moksha uh, and that i must tell the story of uh, moksha uh, it was in uh, in uh, pratima bedi who had uh, taken uh, decided to learn from guruji so guru said if you come to pat cut up and stay with me then i'll teach you and she did go and then she learned and then she invited guruji to when she had some nritya gram where guruji was training all the dancers in uh, abhinay etc now guruji when composes uh, any item he is extremely strict and uh, one wonders that this same man but if you make a mistake straight goes dram a stick and then you have to be perfect guruji had made uh, pratima bedi perform ati bhanga because she with her yoga was able to take number of body bands etc and when once we are performing at the ncpa uh, pratima was asked to take ati bhanga and guruji invited her on the stage and dance with her luck as would have jhelam paranjape pratima uh, sanjukta panigrahi come come they all have had lucky that guru ji would perform with them it's not an ordinary thing daksha mashru wala jalam paranjape anandi ram chandran they all had performed once together uh, vande matram also in bombay once when we had gone to uh, khajuraho dance festival there also guru ji performed this wonderful item there are endless stories we had gone to uh, uh, washington for the first uh, international dance conference and uh, guruji had come there and he had also performed i believe uh, uh, kumkum das was there minati mishra was there raghunath panigiri was there kumkum das kumkum mohanti was there kumkum had performed uh, vaidhi vilas the way uh, sita is uh, is separate from uh, lord rama now the memories are many then what happens when i see guruji teaching various items in nrtyagram or later on when he started his own shrujan basa teaching in uh, bhuvaneshwar from katak from bhuvaneshwar in katak he was teaching earlier very early and uh, dancers used to perform in katak as a matter of pratima bedi went to katak to learn odissi first from guruji and should uh, make get water from the well sweep the floor and stand behind and copy everybody and let dance now that was the sadhana but once people are stuck to guruji 
the no end to it. The affection and the attraction, the love is immense. For instance, Iliana Kitaristi came all the way from uh, Italy and from uh, Bergamo and studied good from Guru, Guru, Guruji, the Odyssey dance and choreographed many things. Guruji especially choreographed her Eklavya story too. Now we can go on describing these various stages of Guruji's life and uh, the way Guruji established his own. He was wonderful. He knew how to lay bricks, how to put cement and how to create even the house. He built his own house also and the wonderful hall that she wanted to create himself. I I I I I am confused when I think of Guruji. Number of images come before my eyes. I remember the one he did for the Bhuvneshwar dance festival when I was teaching in Ravindra Bharti University in Kolkata. I was invited by uh, Mr. Pani Subhas Pani, who were again at the festival, and there were also dance dramas Usha Vilas from Pankajaran Das, and also another dance drama Guruji had choreographed. So he had got two stages. On one stage, he would show Radha and Krishna in union together and then one stage, uh, Radha reminiscing of when Krishna was with her in the Kunj and Bravar. How wonderfully he had the sense of stage because I was told and Guruji himself told us that he was very young and he was uh, at that time in employment of uh, the Annapurna B Theatre uh, in Katak and later on in Bhuvaneshwar, uh, not in Bhuvaneshwar but in Jagannath Puri and he used to play tabla. And he used to play later on he learned Khol and where he met his wife uh, Lakshmi Mande, uh, uh, Guruma and uh, they both had performed together in a choreography called the Shavatar. That was the first the Shavatar that Guruji had performed and choreographed. And then number of the test is the history. How much one can say about the wonderful nature of Guruji, the wealth, the warmth which he would keep me, invite me to Srijan Basa in a Bhuvaneshwar in his house and when they used to be together uh, the love that Guru Ma will shower upon us I was so fortunate that when my book on Odyssey dance was ready and it was uh, released by Guruji not in public but he took us to the inner sanctum sanctorum to Guru Jagannath and uh, offered fee some dakshina and put my book at the feet of uh, Lord Jagannath which was later on uh, deposited in the Raghunandan library just opposite the great temple. Now to go with Guruji uh, to Jagannath Puri temple and to present my book there and then have the blessings, what more I can ask from a uh, Guru, what more luck I could have. My many many moments of luck are there in my career but I need not say that now let me concentrate on Guru Kiruchan Mahapatra, Guruji's son Tatikan Mahapatra. He learned wonderful uh, Bradangam from Guruji. He was a wonderful dancer also, a young dancer. I remember in the number of dance dramas, he used to perform role of Krishna and number of, uh, you know, young girls were sakhis around him and he was the Krishna. He later on uh, himself has choreographed number of dance dramas now as we see in his uh, Srujan, the festival that he organizes and uh, his wife Sujata Mahapatra. What a wonderful dancer for whom Guruji had choreographed Ardhan Arishwara. And there is a story about that Ardhan Arishwara that uh, Guruji in Katak once uh, felt inspired that he wants to. So he sent a word to Sanjukta uh, and Raghunath because they were staying at uh, uh, Bhuvaneshwar. They came in the night and from night till early morning they sat together and Guruji composed that wonderful Shankaracharya's composition, Tampe uh, Gaurar, the Sharira. The one side is, uh, he puts on the, whose skin is beautiful like the champa flower and Shri Sham, Shiva's Jatta, etc. Now, this imagination of Guruji and the inspiration and the moment that he wanted to choreograph were something people will not miss. Sanjukta is always grateful and always acknowledge how in the middle of the night Guruji had taught her this beautiful item. When Guruji was in Bombay at the CPA, he was conducting uh, workshops. There was also a workshop by Kalandini Narayan, a workshop by Mahindra Palayana Prakarin Kathak and Guruji's workshop would take place in uh, NCPA. And there was a round for room where library was there and it was Godri. Godri was later on came, but, but Guruji was composing in that uh, library where people will lie on the floor and relax. So after lunch, uh, 
many times guruji would uh, relax and tell daksha so jalam and then uh, uh, other dances that you can take a little rest, rest here so later on daksha used to tell me ke sunil bhai we don't know we were so lucky that guruji would teach us there and also we were tired so he said also you can relax over here etc now that humility and that love and affection for guruji these dances will never never forget devi basu selam paranjape anandi ramchandran and daksha uh, mashu wala uh, were very lucky when they were attending the workshop uh, and they say that we are very fortunate because we are also learning abhinay from kalandi narayan and the great bandra of kalera purvas conducting classes in kathak now these are wonderful uh, coincidences and also happenings in the world of dance that uh, point out beautifully the uh, importance of guruji in the context where guruji was creating guruji has conducted workshops world over he has gone to uh, with manika thakkar to uh, toronto he has traveled uh, with number of places going to paris many times he went to france and uh, his performance has been recorded also fortunately there are good recordings which uh, uh, our uh, dear friend uh, avinash pachricha has made uh, audio visuals also of the performances his photographs of Mahar- guruji are absolutely wonderful i have not seen any other photographer to capture so beautifully the expressions that uh, avinash pachricha captures friends uh, uh, one can go on and on on talking about elochan mahapatra and the young generation who has perhaps not seen he has already performed the parampara festival with uh, our raja radha reddy very lucky raja radha reddy guru is very fond of them both of them are very very happy with guru ji's coming and blessing them etc so uh, there are videos which often one can access to it our ratikan mahapatra has put some on the online also so i would want them to see that to get a glimpse the beautiful audio visual by avinash vachi is also sharon love and they would commentary imagine sharon love and coming away from all the way from america to learn from guru ji and say stay at his feet etc and these are great artists who have wonderful blessings to learn odyssey from guru ji my heartfelt pranam to guru ji and also i wish to once again thank rajan radhari for having invited me to speak on guru ji my pranam to guru ji namaskar